I picked the sandwich out of the bag. And Bruce said to me, he said, get it close. And I said, get it close. Hell, I'm going to hold. And I took dead aim. Oh, Looks good. Done. Looks good. Do you believe it? Do you? Finally, after I started doing it, I pointed back to him and I said, See, I told you so. When I was a kid growing up in Kansas City, Tom Watson started the Watson Challenge, essentially to determine who is the best golfer in Kansas City. For a while, it was just Tom Watson. There it is, the 1981 Masters Champion. He won five Watson Challenges, basically in a row, and proved that he was a force to be reckoned with. I used to watch him play this tournament every year, and I wanted to play in it so bad. So getting to play in it for the first time last year was really a dream come true. Finishing at two under par for the tournament, T8, pretty solid finish. And again, this year, we got an exemption and we were able to play in the Watson Challenge. How's it going? Player? Yep. Welcome to Michigan. Thank you. Take it deep. Will do. Check it out. Parking spots for the boys. Thank you again to the KCGA for letting me into this event. Thank you to Mission Hills for letting me film this event. And thank you to Tom Watson for putting on such an incredible tournament. If you read the title and the thumbnail, you know I played pretty good. A lot of momentum for the professional golf career right now. If you want to join the ride, subscribe to the channel, like the video, it helps us out a lot. Yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm Ben. Tom, got it. Yeah. Talking to it won't do anything. Thank you. Do they sell tickets to this? Yeah, 25 bucks. There's that energy we were looking for. We got some claps. You're going to be seeing a lot of that this week. 40 yards out with a lob wedge in your hand, a lot, a lot of times you're going to be thinking birdie there. Patience to be oh. able to just dump it into the middle of the green, 15 feet away from the hole, and then honestly just feel like you're having to lag it in there. That is going to be a really important thing to be able to do this week. Just have patience, be okay with making par from inside of 50 yards, just not making any big numbers because it's so easy to have that happen out here at this golf course. Thank you. The grind. Thanks. That's the drive we've been trying to hit for like two months.
Uh, I just felt some wind, thought I was gonna move it. That sucks. I felt the wind off the left and I thought I was gonna move it for some reason. It didn't. How do we know when they're off? Oh, what? I think tore off to the right. Thank you. This was one of my best iron shots, maybe ever. This pin was tucked in the back right corner, not an easy spot for a right-hander to get to, and I hit the most beautiful flighted five iron against the wind. Boy, I just love this one. It was so fun, so Thank fun you. to watch. Caught that a little better than I thought I would. about half that ball went into the hole there. I miss it high though. I haven't missed a putt high that hasn't gone seven feet by yet. So that's good, we're, we're big on that. Get on top. I think that covered another couple feet. Just hit right into that slope, stopped. Huh. Oh, wind, relax. Oh, that was struck so good. Oh. Yeah, he does. I... The less three footers I have to play outside the hole, the better. Yep. That was like a full ball and a half outside the hole. Stand it up. Stand it up. Hmm. Should be fine, right? Depends on the right. That's good. Angles, baby. All about angles. That's what we're going for here. Yeah, we just we love flirting with the road. Sit. Sit. That should be fine. Nothing from there really. Thank you, just have to screw it up. Just didn't hit it. That looks so ticklish, but it's not downhill at all. Oh, come on, wind. Something. All right. Got green to work with. Those high shots, it, like, it guarantees it's gonna stop on the green. 
I know it seems super unnecessary, but like, no, not at all. I mean, we do this for three days. I'm, I'm gonna be fine. We're gonna make a couple more putts. Like, if, if, if the putter's working, we're five under. They're gonna start falling. Oh God, sit ball. Oh, we got a green to work with, Cole. Sit down. Those little dumpers are working out good today. Maybe one of the more disgusting chip shots I've ever hit in my life. The second dump and chaser that I hold in a span of four holes, and that one was something special. Is that out? No. Mm -hmm. uh, that guy just signaled out. This one's a Callaway 2 blue dot. First one had no blue dot. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. All right, I deserve this. This was my fault. You see where that was? <laughs> well, that was supremely unfortunate. I was up against the lip. I had nothing there. I almost, that was almost like the greatest bunker shot of all time. I had literally that far from the lip. I had to chop down on it. For the first bunker shot, I was playing it out towards the middle of the green because there was no way I was gonna be able to stop it on the green if I went at the flag. I thought I was gonna have to do the same thing with the second bunker shot and I just was like, well, I can try. <laughs> And it worked. <laughs> Get in the hole. Get in the hole. That might be really good, Cole. Or really bad, we'll see. Never know out here. That was literally as close as I could have gotten it. There was a big knob right between me and the flag that made it kind of impossible to try to hit one super close. So I feel like there's a lot of shots in this video that look like they aren't that good because of the result, but it was like almost the best I could have done. The green surrounds on this golf course are so diabolical that a lot of these shots that I'm hitting look pretty pedestrian, but they felt really good. Whoa. Get through the rough. God bless it. Just another couple yards. I would have run up there pretty good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Hey, thanks, man.
but that was a bailout. Did my ball hit the path on 14? That's sick. Nice. Majority round, I hit a lot of good golf shots, and the one, the bad ones I did hit, I just had a really hard time recovering from. Obviously, there was that chip in on 13, that was great. But other than that, whenever I hit a shot offline, it was like I just made the highest possible score. Like, how do I don't know how how do you make six from 240 in the middle of the fairway on this golf hole? That's what we call not good. How do I make a five footer for a six? I finished at 72, two over. The game plan's exactly the same tomorrow. Nothing's changing. It's just. If I play exactly the same way tomorrow, like I'm, I'm not gonna shoot 72, I'm gonna shoot 68. Just, I missed a lot of short putts today. Not short necessarily, but a lot of makeable putts. Like eight to 12 footers just would not fall. Mm -hmm. See you boys tomorrow. Thank you. Angles, baby. Thank you. Sit. Catch it. Perfect. That's just not even close so far enough. Go ball. Kick up. I don't even know how why I hit it like that. Oh, it almost went in. How about that? Oh. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna have room. I'll try to land it like just. Yep, yep, that's what I'm saying. I think it's 65. I don't aim a little like left of it. I don't feel like that's cheating too much. Okay, that's not bad. Shouldn't be up against the collar. Honestly, I'm fine with getting that like onto the green, sort of. We're about to get real muddy. 
I'm just gonna hit it as hard as I can at the plug. Right here. Just barely got out, it's right there. That's so cute. Well, that's not good. All right, let's make a par. How cool would that be? That's it. That kick over the green into the bunker. Really? Cool. I think that's enough bogeys. Thank you. Thank you. That was about three or four feet away from my decade target. I'm okay with that. I swear I'm like 40% on making putts that I'm like, I'll go ahead and finish. I gotta get over that though. Long cut. Uh, it's up there enough, it should be just fine. Don't, don't! I don't know what he's signaling. <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna hook that much. Oh, I didn't release at all. Got the chunk, just no run. Didn't hit it. Par five scoring's gotta get the water, I think. That's supposed to cut, Cole. Sit down. Sit down. I hope so. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's really good. I'll take that. <laughs> I just, I thought for a second maybe it's gonna come back over. That would've been cool. But no, that's, we'll take that. Just breathing on this, right? Thanks. That was a puzzle. <laughs> that was a puzzle and a really good example of what kind of discipline and also precision you have to have on this golf course. Putting yourself in certain positions where par is really, really good and having to figure out how to make par from 45 yards away from the hole is what I think makes this course such an interesting Go test. And stay. It's gonna feel real stupid if I missed it after you gave me literally the exact read. That's so terrible. Catch piece. All right, easy two putt. I think I got this actually. This this uh, makes sense to me right now. How did not go in? Speed control with the lab putter has been Thank you. stupid good. <laughs> so happy with the speed control with that new thing. Get, 
kick left. That was quite literally perfect. Thank you. That is so good. Thank you. I'm gonna try to keep that rolling for at least one more hole. <laughs> I feel bad for hitting into those guys, but at a certain point, it's like if I wait for the green to clear from 370 and I don't get there, I'm a real, I'm a real jack wagon. Top of my back swing, I just heard something. Fortunately, I'm just unbelievably mentally tough because if not, that might have bothered me. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. right where I aimed, but I was hoping it would cut. Where'd my caddy go? There you are. You want that? That was exactly where I was aimed. Yeah, it was exactly where I was aimed. Did it just go, it did it? did it? No, it stopped at short. Thinking about just popping it. Thanks. Uh, significant improvement. It is. It's left on that thing, right? Yep. It was tracking that minivan. No, I, I'm just gonna have to like give up on making it. Like, Cause it's, the more I cheat over, the more like, if I try to make it, it's, it's going, I think I gotta be six feet left of it. Is that actually, that worked right? Yes, I told you. <laughs> okay, I'm Make sorry, it, I apologize. Flip that, flip that. I apologize. Thank you. Kill it, Wind. I go long. That would have had to have been like a 220 ball into the wind. Go. Honestly, that wasn't far off from what I wanted. Thanks. Thanks, Cole. Come on, dude. We got two more holes to play. We can't have you messing around. Yep. Looks like it might have kicked left a little. It should be fine. It kind of slopes back towards that pen, doesn't it? It does, yeah. I mean, on that front ridge, I'm, I believe so. I think I'm just going to go full 58. Because if, if it lands at like 110, I feel like we're going to like it. This did catch it very good. It was a weird lie. Kind of had like one foot up, one foot down.
Yeah, it's acceptable. It's a fine mess. Go. Go so much. Uh, that's frustrating. That was so filthy. Really good plan with you, sir. Yeah, it's fine. Nice round. Thank you. Thank you. It's fun. Yeah, good. Thanks for the help. Good to meet you, man. I can see you guys. Good luck tomorrow. What's up, man? 36 31. That's pretty good. I, uh, yeah, played better on the back. Well, I mean, I, I played good. I just had like that weird 3 4 5 turkey bogey streak. That was rough. And I, and I'm, I'm really proud of how we bounced back after that. Birdie and six. And then making par on eight was a little another kind of like, feel like you're giving a couple back there. But finally made a birdie on a par five. We are at even on the par fives this week. That's great. I was hoping it'd be a little bit better considering I have iron into every one of them, but I'm really happy with the way I played. I'm really like, I feel super, super grateful right now that I get to do what I do and have all the people that I love with me. And Cole's been a great caddy this week. Thank you guys for making this possible. And subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Just ruin it. Yeah. Just ruin this nice sentimental moment. Warm up was good. Like good warm up, bad warm up. I don't really put much stock into it. My body's loose. I feel good. I feel confident. I'm ready to go. 10:40 peak time. It is 10:36 uh, and 54 seconds. So I'm gonna head over there. This is the 10:40. Good luck, fellas. First to play from Shawnee, Kansas, Ben Hatton. down with the slope, right? So 114 into 8, 120. I think it's a smooth 54. Sit. Sit. Let me get a ball marker out of here. That was goofy. didn't miss the three-footer. That's girl math. Is that boy math? Is that pro golfer math? Right? It's supposed to go back left after the slope, but I guess I went too far right up the hill. Yeah, it's certainly moving left. Yeah, 
Thank you. Nice. In the fairway. It's a good angle. I'm gonna land it on the flag. Four yards plus plus three for the bunker. So seven, 69 to 75. I think we just land it right on top of it. That's perfect. Minus one for no wind. Thank you. Wow. No splash. No splash. No splash. Yeah, we're good. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting to hit it in the water off this T-Box yesterday, but... Good block. <sighs> Stay on the green. Shoved it. Thanks. Be so good. Be so good. <laughs> I don't know, I got double hands up from Winslow. That was a lengthy vertical horizontal step. It's like right on the edge, you know. Like three feet, yeah, obviously the step was left. Five feet is kind of pushing it. Oh, I thought I was gonna get lucky there for a second. About six yard carry, stock tread. Thank you. What? It's heading right for him. Golly, get over him. Okay. Left. Oh, left. Go. I go in the bunker. Didn't come out like I thought it would.
Come on now. I like that one in the air. Oh, we gotta hit it, dude. This is a one now. Okay. I don't know what it is. I got rabbit ears right now. Here's everything. Catching those fat all week. Thank you. I was screwed after my tee shot. Thank God I made par. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Cover it somehow. Oh, it did. How about that? It might be really good. <laughs> I smash it. Spit ball. Looks way longer than it is. Oh, it's thick. Sometimes you catch them fluffy, just like I did here, leaving myself with a 15 footer for par. I've, I've misread every putt on the screen. I don't know where I'm getting this break from. Birdie bogey, birdie bogey. Cover. Necky, go. It's actually short, 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 Thank you. The delay, because they don't know if it went in or not. <laughs> Until I bend over to pick it out of the hole. Thanks. Oh, what a kick. It drew though, I should just play the draw.
It's playing 40. It's gotta be playing 40. Yep, it's playing 43 left of it. Hold it. Yep, there it is, all the center of the cup. I'm telling you, dude, I'm 50% on this. Heading into 17, worked pretty hard the last three holes to get ourselves back into a solo second position. Really trying hard to focus and make sure to get it in the house. And uh, as we mentioned before, what? this is a really hard tee shot. Water up the right, out of bounds up the left. And my first like real left right. miss of the tournament, it felt like. I, I hit a lot of really good drives all week and this one was just really poorly timed. I got a provisional. This one is a uh, Callaway 1 BH, no black line. First one was a four, the black line BH. Super easy after hitting one out of bounds to block one right. And as we mentioned before, there's hazard on the right and just roping one down the down the fairway here. Ended up kicking into the rough, but this was a fantastic shot. I was really proud of this one. <sighs> so hot, sit down. As far as I know, I'm two under par and second place is one under. That's what the leaderboard told me. So I know that I need to make this putt to stay in a tie for second place. This was about a 25 footer that broke three feet. And Cole said to me as I was walking the line, I love that. And then drained it for a second ball birdie. Really good bogey. Of all bogeys, I mean, there are good bogeys and bad bogeys. That was a good bogey. Thanks. Based on what I saw on the leaderboard, I have to make birdie to finish solo second. And my drive caught the tree, left me about 3.30 out. Managed to get a two iron up to about 95 yards out, dead into the wind. Thought I hit a perfect wedge here. Kick just over the green. Tom Watson watching, trophy sitting on the table, second place on the line, needed to get up and down to what I thought secure a tie for the runner up position. And this chip was unbelievably touchy. Very harsh downslope right after that ridge. You can see where the uh, shade is. And uh, I stopped right around a foot away from rolling all the way off the front of the green. Left myself with this five footer. And very happy with, with that putt. I mean, the lab putter has made such a big difference on pressure putts, especially putts like that. And after the round, I went to the scores table and found out that the leaderboard was actually incorrect. I, uh, I was the one of two players that week to break par, which was a great honor. For those who don't know, my name is Doug Habel. I'm the director of the Watson Challenge and the executive director of Central Links Golf. I've had the pleasure of uh, running this golf tournament for since 2015 when it was here at Mission Hills Country Club. It's the highlight of my year. This event is a fundraiser for the first tee of Greater Kansas City. Knocked it out of the ballpark. We are going to donate close to $90,000 to the first tee of Greater Kansas City. So, uh, at this time, I would like to introduce the tournament's namesake and five-time champion, Mr. Tom Watson, to give out some awards. Thanks, Doug. It's always uh, fun as an old guy like me to come out and watch these guys play. How did you like uh, the 13th hole on the first day? I liked it. You liked it? Yeah. How about you? Yeah. Okay, 260-yard four-hour. All right. I couldn't get through with a driver. I had two chips, for the record. <laughs> Without further ado, I'm going to introduce the amateur champion, Jackson Foff. He's got, he's got to learn how to hit it shorter on holes so you don't hit the cart pads. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, man. Hey, congratulations.
congratulations. And now I'm going to introduce Ben Hayden. Is it Hadden or Hayden? Hadden. Hadden. I just yeah. screwed it up. Sorry. <laughs> ben, you. congratulations. Runner up. Thank you. One of two two players who broke far. Great up and down right there in the last hole to finish a solo second. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Can you teach me that shot? Uh, first, you need to take a drop. You get a better lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty easy after yeah. that. Anything else you want to say? Um, thank you again for putting on such a great event. Um, competitive reps are always important, especially when it's a tournament of this high caliber. And the, it means a lot to be playing in this event, playing well. After caddying for my dad a number of years in this thing and watching it since I was 10 years old, than being able to actually plan it. Oh, man, you're making me awesome. feel old. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, I'd like to introduce the uh, 2024 Watson Challenge Champion, Joseph Winslow. Pretty sweet. Second place. I feel obviously like beyond psyched. It's my best finish in a professional event. This is a really high caliber event. It's a really hard golf course. And to be one of two people that broke par feels amazing. And it's also encouraging to know like the way I drive a golf ball, if I drive it like into playable areas consistently, it's an unbelievable advantage. Really honestly don't feel like I did anything incredibly. I didn't make any big mistakes and I drove it well. It's my third tournament back. The work we put in and sticking to the decade plan and, and being emotionally tough and being physically tough and being able to like actually compete. Like this is the best golf I've played in my life really. Not necessarily that I'm hitting like better shots than I've ever hit, but I'm making fewer mistakes, taking advantage of the opportunities I'm getting better. Like I feel better with the putter, like the lap putter has made a massive difference. I actually had to cancel my flight. I was supposed to leave for Canada in 50 minutes and we're 42 minutes from the airport. But fortunately, I was able to change that flight to leave at seven in the morning tomorrow. We were heading to Canada, Portney, Canada, playing at Q School for the Americas Tour. Four days, June 11th to the 14th. Finishing solo second at the Watson Challenge. It, it's, it didn't feel real. It took a while to set in, but um, yeah, really, really satisfying. Congratulations to Joseph on the win. And uh, thank you to you guys for subscribing to the channel, making videos like this possible. Share this with a friend who uh, wants to see a second place finish, I guess, first loser. And uh, stay tuned, because Q School's up next.